so this tree had um, fire blight, or it still does have fire blight. Let me show you an example. Well, that one, it's relatively black, but that's not the, that, them, I mean, that one doesn't look infect, it, it looked like it possibly might be, but the real spots, like, I probably have a couple more spots. Oh, man. Probably something like that. Uh, definitely gotta cover this. Or I should probably just chop this, chop this off. And chop, and chop this off. Or just chop the whole branch off. Oh yeah, I should have threw the wood ash on wet. I think that's the solution. But I mean, this is how, I, well, the last time it, um, I covered like the whole trunk. So like this dark black, I would say it's fire blight. So yeah, this tree's on its way out. And then, honestly, I would just spray it in bleach, like spray the outside of the tree with bleach. So. The spot was super bad at first. When we know, well, I think we cut a branch right here, um, or relatively, and it started leaking from the this area. But last time I checked, uh, before I put this on. Um, Well, there was ants coming out of this fire ants, which just happened to uh, another plant of mine that I rescued. But yeah, uh, I don't know. I just put a little bit on this one too, just to. But that's, uh, that's wood ash, not, or, yeah, basically charcoal or wood ash, not burkett charcoal, the toxic stuff.